Welcome to MZ Talks Boxing. I'm your host, Pecos Bill. Let's talk about it. First of all, I had to eat crow with the AJ fight and Ruiz. It was horrible. Tasted terrible. Congratulations to Anthony Joshua for regaining his belts. He went out there and he moved around the ring and used all of the ring and threw plenty of jabs, a few hard rights and a few hooks. Did some holding. All out, he did what he needed to do to get that win. Now, before everybody goes to crowning him the top heavyweight, showed his great boxing skills, let me just tell you to pump your brakes for a minute. Hold your horses. Get the chickens off the roost. Because what we saw was a good in shape Anthony Joshua, able to move and work his way around the ring, just like mostly everybody said he would. Even the chubby Andy Ruiz, that chubby kid, the one that beat him. He said when Anthony Joshua come back, he gonna be trying to be slick and move around. Now, since Andy Ruiz knew that old AJ was going to come in light and moving and being slick. He gained weight. Now, I can only speculate that he gained weight thinking that, what, he was going to cut the ring off, get old AJ up against the ropes, and make him have to exchange with him where he could get the best of it. If that's what he was thinking, it didn't work that way because Fat Andy showed up. Not Chubby Andy, the fat one. You know, fat one that couldn't move. He just followed old AJ around and eating a jab. E -e 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 eating a jab. That's what he was doing. Now, that those facts are out the way, let's not crown old AJ some great boxer. Because that he's not. He did a C-plus job against... A F Andy Ruiz. Here's why. His jab and movement was just good enough to beat a guy that couldn't throw any punches. Not that he was stopping Andy from throwing punches. Andy's fat ass just couldn't move. So don't trick yourself and say AJ jab and all the movement that he was doing was keeping Andy away because fat Andy just couldn't move. Slow and lethargic. Stuck in quicksand. Maybe if he had attacked AJ like he was attacking that food that he was gaining weight up off of, he probably would have won. Now, I'm going to stand by the things that I say is AJ has holes in his defense. Holes big enough to drive a fist through it. All the dancing around in the world and just throwing a jab is not going to protect you from a hungry fighter that knows how to cut off the ring and by sticking that old hand out just thinking you're going to hold somebody back when you get in the corner, they're going to slap that down, follow with a jab, and get to working on the inside. Because once you get hit and you try to shell up, if they keep working on you, boy, uh, you don't know how to protect yourself. But you are the unified champion again. Oh, I got to say it like this. Two times unified heavyweight champion of the world. Now, I'm going to bring up the point about why everybody is so mad at the fat Andy. They loved the chubby Andy, but they're mad at the fat Andy. Here's why. Deep in the hearts of the Deontay Wilder fans, and some fans who claim they're not Deontay Wilder fans, they just want to see a good fight. Deep in their hearts, they didn't really want AJ to win because they knew if he won, the chances of them seeing an undisputed champion at the fight of Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua is slim next to none. None next to slam. Chances of it ever raining in hell? Never. Here's why. 
They already calling out Deontay Wilder's name. Question, why are you calling out Deontay the bronze bomb of Wilder's name? When you already didn't release the fact that you already planned on fighting Kulev. Ain't he about 40 now? Even there's talks about you relinquishing one of your belts. Giving it up, letting it go, but we all know it's part of the master plan of the puppeteer. And it's hard. To let old Usyk fight for it. That's right. Now, before people start screaming that Deontay Wilder is ducking, y'all just stop that right there. Because y'all already know he got to fight Tyson Fury. Y'all don't really want to see him face old AJ. But that's all something else in another pot to cook in. But that is why people is upset. Not just Wilder fans, but a lot of people are upset. Because they say, oh, Andy ain't just messed up remaining champ. He messed up a chance to fight for the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. But I'm sure oh, Andy the Destroyer Ruiz feels pretty bad already by himself, so I won't knock him. What do you think?